What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a product unboxing and review of the JFEG Wo tire inflator and air pump. Now I actually think this came just in time because for the most part I've always been using this hyper tough air inflator that I got from Walmart for about 25 bucks. And unfortunately I've broken about two or three of these from just general use. So I figured what better way to test out the JFEG Wo air inflator than to compare it to my $25 hyper tough Walmart tire inflator. So guys, JFEG Wo is a fairly new brand that specializes in the production of portable air compressors and jump starters at the moment. Now their products are designed to provide convenience and emergency solutions for vehicles owners everywhere in all sorts of situations. Their portable air compressors are valuable for inflating tires, while the jump starters offer a portable power source for jump starting vehicles with dead batteries, or just a way to have an emergency power source for charging your phones or other electronic devices. JFEGWO emphasizes high quality materials, advanced technology, and user friendly features in its products. As you can see here in the inflator they sent me, it seems pretty easy to slap a logo on and drop ship it if they were to do that. And that could definitely be the case here as their website is only a year old, which I found out. But either way, the inflator itself looks solidly built. It has a sturdy design and comes with a few attachments needed to inflate all kinds of things and products. And if we take a closer look at the inflator itself, you can see it has a simple construction that makes it beginner friendly. A power on and a power off switch, a flashlight with SOS Morse code, a PSI control and an on switch to actually turn the motor on. Now installation is pretty simple. Just remove the hose in the back of the device and screw it into the included attachment and then lock it in a place on a tire valve. And let me tell you, I prefer this easy disconnect method much more than the Walmart fitting, which you have to screw onto the tire valve. So now that you've seen what's inside the JFEGWO tire inflator, I wanna show you what comes in your hyper tough tire inflator kit. You can see this one comes with Basically just this little thing here, you get a super tiny gauge on the back with plus or minus to choose how much PSI. And you get, I think, a little flashlight on there. And then you have a way to plug it into the cigarette lighter. And if you don't wanna use that, you can then use the portable battery that it comes with here, which takes quite a long time to charge. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Besides those two options, this is the only cable you get. And then the adapters that come with this, which isn't too bad, is right over here. You can see the little attachments there, basically for if you were to fill a basketball up, or I guess as well as one of those beach floaties. Now I figured we'd put these through two of what I would consider the most important tests, and that is how loud it is based on the decibels, as well as how fast it is in actually filling up the tire. So we're gonna set up, deflate some tires that I have here on my car, and then fill them up and see which one performs the best. For this test, I deflated the tire to 25 PSI, and we're going to inflate it to 35 PSI on my 2010 Mazda 3, and and see how long it takes to do so. Now I sped this up because I figured nobody wanted to sit here for a solid minute and a half and watch the tire inflate, but the results were a minute and 26 seconds for the JFEG Wo. As for the HyperTuff, it finished at one minute and 53 seconds. Now I noticed the JFEG Wo has a much stronger motor when it comes to filling up at a higher PSI. Anything above say 30 PSI, the HyperTuff tends to struggle at while the JFEG Wo just keeps on going. Something to consider if you have a sports car or just a higher PSI tire or thing you need to inflate. So I had a feeling that both air compressors would perform quite similarly when filling up from a low PSI up to something as high as 35 for let's say a Mazda 3 for a tire that doesn't need you know the highest PSI. But what happens when you're driving a car like a sports car that actually has much higher PSI? Say for example, my RS3 over here, which needs 44 PSI in the front tires. So when not on a daily driver and working on a sports car like the RS3, you can see the PSI that's needed on something like this is actually much higher at a 44 PSI in the front and 39 PSI on the back. So the test now will be how will the JFEG Wo handle when the tire is currently 
at 30 PSI and we need to inflate it another 14 PSI up to 44. And how does it stack compared to the HyperTuff? So let's see what happens and find out. For those wondering what tires need such a high PSI, we're doing this on Pirelli P0s. One minute and 47 seconds. So let's see how this compares to the HyperTuff Walmart tire inflator. two minutes and 48 seconds. This performs, it's a lot worse trying to do higher PSI tires and things compared to the JFEG Whoa, Almost twice as long actually. The next test is also how loud it is. Now I used a decibel app on my phone to get a good measurement. About 94 decibels up close with the JFEG Whoa, and about 77 decibels about five feet away. Now the Walmart one, the HyperTuff one, was slightly louder at about 97 decibels and almost the same about five to six feet away as well. So guys, all in all, I want to give a huge shout out to JFEG Woe for sending me this to review and test out. Honestly, it's really not that bad and it performs a lot better than the cheapy Walmart version that I had, especially when it comes to filling up the top end of the tires here. You know, from like 25 to 30, it's pretty easy for them both to perform, but from 30 to 35 or 35 to 40, this thing way outperforms the cheapy Walmart version. And for good reason, this thing has a much bigger and much more powerful motor. So definitely make sure to go pick one of these up if you like them. Otherwise, definitely make sure to check them out as I have linked them down in the description below. And with that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.